Hello everyone, welcome back to the tea. So today we're talking about Chet Hanks and he speaks out about cultural appropriation. <laughs> okay, so that certainly opened it up for discussion, didn't it? Okay, so let me let me share with you guys some of the responses I've been getting, some of the other points of view that I've been getting in, in response to what I've put forth. This is the main one. People are saying, well, snowboarding is a terrible example because that's a sport and you can't compare a sport to people's hair. Okay, if you're, that's, that's true, that's true. But if you're focusing on what I said about snowboarding as a sport, you're missing the point. I didn't re mean it as a sport. I meant it as a reference point for a community that surrounds it. The community that surrounds snowboarding is mainly white, right? Okay, yes, anybody can snowboard. Anybody can go forth and perfect and, and, and perfect their skills at snowboarding. I'm not saying that white people have a monopoly on snowboarding. I'm saying it's a reflection point for a larger community which is predominantly white, like snowboarding or like motocross or, or something. Because this is the other response I've been getting is that people are saying white people have no culture. That's, that's another thing I've been saying. People are saying white people don't have any culture. That to me is confusing because just look at all the different varieties of European cultures, you know, like French people versus Swedish people versus, you know, German people, whatever. So that's one thing. But second of all, okay, let's assume that's true. Let's assume that white people have no culture. But if they did have a culture, what would it be like? If white people, white Americans did have a culture, well, how would you imagine that culture to be? I imagine it to be something like like one example, like snowboarding, you know what I mean? Like the culture surrounding snowboarding or like motocross where it's just like mostly white people, you know what I mean? Not saying that it has to be that way or it should be that way, but that's just for the most part what it is. But if you don't like that sports, if you're getting caught up on the sports analogy, then let's switch it up. Let's switch it up to hip hop versus country music. If a white person gets into hip hop and they start wearing braids and gold teeth, y'all call that, some people call that appropriation. But if a black person puts on cowboy boots and a cowboy hat and gets into country music, there's nothing wrong with that. Of course there's nothing wrong with that. Why would anybody have a problem with that? So if you don't have a problem with a black person wearing cowboy hats and cowboy boots and loving country music, then why do you have a problem with white people wearing braids and gold teeth and getting into hip hop music. Okay, well, like I said before, it's because this whole idea of theft, of they steal it from us, they take it from us and they, they take it for themselves and then um, benefit off of it without helping the people that they took it from. But this is the question I just wanna pose on this, is why does it have to be all about stealing? Like, why do you have to look at it as, as like a white person who's wearing brazen gold teeth is like trying to manipulate and steal from black culture? Why can't it just be that he loves black culture and he, he wants to be, he, he, that, that's just what speaks to him? Why are we so caught up on this idea of theft and stealing? Like everything is so malicious and, and one person needs to steal from another to profit off of them and, and then make it theirs. Isn't it just as easy to look at it from the other perspective, which is just people like what they like, they love what they love, and nobody should have a problem with that? Why would we have a problem with that? Which is, which is just what leads me to my point again, is why are we so quick to be angry and tense upon the blurring of racial communities in instead of just being welcoming towards it, towards the blending of racial communities. That is my only point. That's the only point I'm trying to make. Maybe the snowboarding was a bad example, but what about that example that I just gave you now? So now we can discuss that. Much love. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.